Hello, um, welcome to the advocacy and outreach SIP meeting. Today is uh, April 22nd. We have uh, several contributors on the call and we have a few topics on our agenda. Do you see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, so yeah, I just put a few random topics uh, which we had uh, in progress. And if you want to discuss something else, just put them onto the list. And yeah, let's give a priority to your topics so that uh, we can discuss them first. Okay, so what I put to the agenda, Jenkins Contributor Summit updates, uh, Jenkins X3.x release and its promotion, uh, terminology updates, which uh, was started under the umbrella of advocacy and outreach seek uh, last year. And outreach program updates, um, onboarding event organizers, update from me, and uh, yeah, the world all for papers and uh, require, um, uh, related um, uh, ask me anything meet up anything else you want to discuss today uh, I've got a pending meetup I've, I'm way behind on getting it submitted but a proposal for a, a meetup with Uli Hoffner talking about his developer onboarding techniques he uses with his university students it, it doesn't have to be yeah Mm -hmm. So we have, um, so just uh, let's take a full list of upcoming meetups. Okay. So we have a uh, Tecton uh, client uh, plugin in works. Uh, we have uh, uh, open telemetry in works, but unlikely to happen in uh, the next few weeks. So open telemetry, that's the work that Victor Martinez yeah. just announced. Excellent. Yeah, okay. Victor and Cyril. So actually, mm -hmm. we are likely to have two meetups. One will be in English as Jenkins online meetup, and the one will be in French uh, together with uh, uh, Swiss uh, Elastic uh, meetup organizers. Uh, so, yeah. Well, it depends on whether Cyril is up to doing two meetups, but uh, initially he was interested. Then we have a it up for Jenkins Kubernetes operator. Uh, then we have uh, CDF CF, uh, uh, DevOps World CFP. And uh, we have a meetup for developer uh, uh, development best practices, right? Right. Yeah. Developer best practices with, um, with Uli Hafner. This is quite a list. Yeah. Uh, well, there were other discussions, uh, like for example, um, uh, we had a discussion with somebody in Twitter that uh, we will would host uh, um, a meetup for preview environments supporting Jenkins with mm -hmm. existing tools, which is kind of interesting topic. Um, but yeah, right now there is no confirmed date, no confirmed application. In addition to that, uh, I might do an online meetup for Jenkins roadmap updates ahead of the contributor summit, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, the list is quite good at the moment, so yeah. Okay. So if uh, half of them happens, it's good. And yeah, we will also have a Jenkins room meetup. Uh, we have um, a session with uh, meetup organizers uh, uh, this weekend. So we have onboarded two contributors who are interested to volunteer with meetup organization and uh, other organizers are also interested. So we will definitely run something, um, but yeah, most likely in May. So the Jenkins Roo meetup will, will certainly be in Russian, right? Yes, and that's the and, idea. Uh, excellent. We also have a not so active discussion about uh, reviving Jenkins meetups in Spanish because we have three contributors who are interested. Mm. Uh, so if we do, we will definitely use one of uh, meetups published um, on uh, meetup.com as additional platform for promotion. 
for example, Madrid meetup or CV meetup or all of meetups. Um, so we will definitely use the determinants of the local meetups uh, where relevant. So uh, the question of what we do with uh, these meetup accounts and longer term remains. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's go forward then. Okay, uh, Jenkins Contributor Summit. Um, yeah, thanks to Jacqueline and the Continuous Delivery Foundation, everything is published. So this is our page. Uh, there is a registration form uh, where uh, basically when you register uh, to CDCon, you have an option to register to the Jenkins Contributor Meetup as well. It's announced in the agenda. It's also listed um, here in the events. So you can guess Jenkins Contributor Summit, which points to our page. So I, I wanted to improve this page a bit, but yeah, whatever works. Um, and then Jackie, do you have any, any data that you can share in terms of how many registrations we have? Yeah, uh, you guys have 217 right now. 217? Um, yes. Um, and so that's also something that I wanted to chat about because I know that, um, are we gonna have a cap? Do we need to have a cap on registration um, or can yeah. like, you know, I know the uh, actual attendance will be probably lower than the registration, but if we need to put a cap, let me know. Cause I don't want to have like 500 people register and potentially like um, be a limitation. Yeah. If, so if our platform uh, can support, uh, I checked yesterday. So mm -hmm. currently uh, our account setting says that we can support 300 people in online <laughs> webinar with breakout rooms. Uh, okay. and, and uh, up to 500 and other things I figure, didn't figure out uh, what exactly but okay. I'll start worrying only when we get uh, to 1000 registrations for that uh, there is no chance that we will hit limit okay okay yeah just uh, just wanted to ask that um, and then the other thing uh, is I'll start adding the um, Jenkins Contributor Summit on the rest of the groups for the meetups. Um, the other question I had was regarding um, talks. Uh, sorry, this is also related to CDCon, but CDCon talks that are Jenkins related. Um, I'm going to ask Roxanne if she could put a list together because she's doing all the tweeting right now. And we were wondering if um, the Jenkins account would retweet any of the Jenkins related talks. Uh, we will. Uh, I monitored it. I've seen uh, one tweet already. Um, so. Yeah, so I'll ask Roxanne to just in a document um, put all the links to all of the uh, uh, tweets that or in LinkedIn posts that are related to Jenkins talks um, and then let me know what that process is if I need to submit yeah. it somewhere for approval. Yeah, also um, we will be posting um, additional summary blog post on uh, okay. um, the Jenkins site uh, with all the links. Um, because yeah, I, if I understand correctly, we're still missing some sessions. For example, Jenkins both isn't in the agenda at the moment. Yeah, that's still um, that's still being worked on. I'm sorry, I have to just take a call really quick. One sec. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. So Oleg, perhaps mm -hmm. we can ask Roxanne to uh, blog about those sessions. Uh, yeah, the uh, that's uh, what we discussed with Roxanne. Okay. So she would be doing a blog post specifically about CDCon agenda. I will be doing a blog post about the Contributor Summit and of course we cross reference. Okay. Mm -hmm. One thing from what I know, Roxanne is off until uh, the next week, end of next week. Yeah. Because, yeah, there is a staged blog post uh, for um, uh, Jenkins Contributor Awards. And, and yeah, she asked me to get it over the line. So it's what I will be doing right after this meeting. Okay. Okay. So what else we have? 
So for Contributor Summit, we started uh, assembling the agenda on the top level. So if you go to this document, uh, there are some entries. Again, it's not a final agenda. We just have a few items in the list. Uh, so what we have, we definitely want to have Jenkins 3 discussion in some kind. Uh, we have, want to discuss Java 17 support because it's going to be released in September. It will be in some demand. After Java 11, I, I'm afraid of saying in high demand, but yeah, there will be definitely some people uh, reaching out. And then we want to have a session about Jenkins and Jenkins X collaboration and interoperability, it's confirmed. Same for Jenkins and Tecton. Uh, it's confirmed we are waiting for the list of contributors, but then Lawrence uh, tentatively confirmed that. So I think that we should be fine. Uh, then yeah, same for Jenkins and other projects. So for example, there will be talk at um, CDCon about um, using uh, Jenkins and Artelius together. So it's also something we could have if there is a content uh, for contributor summit discussion. Um, it's something we can discuss, but it's uh, far from being confirmed and announced. Then we want to have Jenkins end user panel, uh, having multiple uh, uh, big Jenkins users uh, presenting, uh, just sharing their expertise and more importantly, uh, sharing uh, their pains and expectations from the community. So what they want to see changing in Jenkins, what are their expectations, demands, etc. So basically having a kind of direct channel of feedback from users to contributors as a part of the summit. We are working uh, on that together, together with Evelina Yurkos and we will be reaching out to the CDF because one of our items is to actually get CDF members and end user members uh, there because we know that many of them have really big Jenkins instances. So for me, it's one of the focuses. Oleg, in terms of proposing, I would love to, at the Contributor Summit, have a track on documentation. Should I be writing it into that Contributor Summit document as a proposed exactly, change? Yes, so we discussed um, the previous meetings and I believe, so we have something tentatively, uh, I thought you proposed something for documentation. No. No, no so, we don't because I haven't added it. Or there's confirmed entities there, but we need a, a session and some mm -hmm. what that would mean and why. Uh, yeah. So okay. yeah, we have declared the interest. Uh, but yeah, if you want to have a separate session on documentation, definitely we need uh, hosts and we need some kind of agenda. Uh, plus, yeah, there is open question about timing because if you do it as a one day event, then the timing will be tight, especially if we do it in the US East uh, time zone as we do it now. Well, and it would it would be okay if if we if we said, hey, the time timing doesn't work. We could do separate sessions outside of this and bring this summary of the results to it. So, yeah, I don't need to let timing be a barrier for me on that one. Yeah, right. So for example, we can easily announce that a few sessions will happen after the contributor summit date in there, please, you're welcome to join. Uh, but for me, uh, the main concern is uh, how do we do the main part? Uh, because right. yeah, right now we start at 10, uh, four something. Oh, sorry, 10 a.m. Eastern time. So, well, it's it's not that late in Europe, but yeah, definitely we will have opening maybe one uh, round, and then the most of uh, people in Europe will stop start dropping out, and it will be still too early for Asian and Pacific region. Um, yeah, so really quick, it's nine a.m. Eastern time that we oh. put you down as starting. If that needs to get you know pulled in, just let let us know because we we can definitely do that. We can update that. Yeah, schedule. so I basically just uh, put uh, the same as others for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, um, if you need help and like a suggestion, like one of the things we did, for example, all of the European speakers, we put them in the morning or, mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, switch over to somebody in the US in the afternoon. If you have that concern of European folks not being able to support the event. Um, yeah, so the thing that it's a contributor summit, 
so it implies that we would have active discussion between contributors mm -hmm. and so it's not just having a speaker there and it duplicates the things because you know usual suspects for many areas so finding a time where we be not that easy as we discovered yeah. during the previous contributor summit. Uh, I don't have answer for that, um, but I definitely intend to find answer within the next few weeks. Okay. But yeah, anyway, the event proceeds, and yeah, I guess we published almost everything except uh, yeah online meetups, and uh, hopefully we will also get uh, that in the, uh, the mailing please. Um, and the newsletters, if possible, and also, yeah, there is um, this uh, Linux Foundation site. And if I recall correctly, Jenkins event is still not there. Okay, let me follow. Oh no, it's uh, there. Oh. I was wrong. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Oh, like for my convenience, is the is a link to the Google Doc with the outline available in the notes from the Sig meeting here? Yeah. Okay, so I can find it in there. Great. Yeah, you just need to click a few links. So you click here and then you click a link to the Google Doc agenda from this link. Ah, got it. Thank you. Okay. But yeah, thanks a lot uh, to the CDF, Jacqueline, uh, Tracy, and uh, everybody who helped because yeah, we decided on this event quite lately. Um, um, but yeah, it's great to see that everything is published and now the ball is totally on our side to prepare. Yeah, and then also just let us know as well, because um, one of the things that we can do as we're getting closer to the date is also um, instructions on how attendees, you know, you know, log in or if they need to register through the Zoom link first. So just let us know um, so that we can send that email out a few days before the event starts, just like kind of like what to expect for, for Jenkins Contributor Summit and, and how to participate. Okay. I agree, and yeah, likely it will be also a blog post, uh, but yeah, let's see. Um, but yeah, I definitely put this section item uh, for myself or somebody else will coordinate. Okay, so that's all, but yeah, so far so good, and we have plenty of time to adjust. So, okay, for CDCon, um, yeah, I think that we discussed all the topics, or do we have anything else to cover? No, um, I think that that was it. Just, you know, let us know when we have like the blog and then we'll get that published and pushed out as well through all of our channels. Um, and then let us know also how do we, if, if Roxanne needs to submit, um, like I said, all the links to the retweet for retweeting for Jenkins sessions, yep. um, just let us know on next steps because we, we definitely okay. want to let the community know. That's great. And thank you. Okay, so the next uh, is actually Oleg, about Jenk Yeah. Can I can I ask Jackie something about CDCon as well? Um, so Jackie, I'm sorry if I should already know this. I can't seem to remember, but um, will we have an exhibit hall, virtual exhibit hall? Yeah, we have the um, a virtual expo hall. So every okay. sponsor has a a booth. So every project will, will every project have a booth? I don't, sorry, I don't remember where we left off, if we agree yeah. to it or not. I'll bring it up to Tracy Miranda again um, and ask her what we want to do. Are we giving each of the projects a booth? Um, and then I think where her concern was, it was just like the community of each of those projects will then, you know, we, we would put that responsibility on the project community to staff that booth. Right. But let me, let me confirm on, on what she wants to do. Yeah, and yeah, and I can certainly help with um, getting people sign up to help at least staff the Jenkins booth. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Um, that yeah, let me confirm what she wants to do, and I'll circle back. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So then moving forward. Okay. So the next topic is actually about Jenkins X 3X. And you may wonder what uh, we are discussing here on the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach Seek. And the main reason is that, yes, yeah, we discussed yesterday Jenkins X 3 restores uh, support for Jenkins as well for other CI CD engines. 
So there is documented support for Jenkins, including uh, classic setup and the Jenkins file runner or up to his Tecton. Um, and yeah, as we agreed at the governance meeting, we want to promote it through the Jenkins channels because we can see the Jenkins X is our sister project. Um, and we have actually a plan for that. Uh, so we discussed a few tweets, uh, LinkedIn post. I've also started assembling uh, um, the uh, blog post draft for that. Um, and we've got some quotes in, from Kiki and James Strachan. So, um, but yeah, we will post it a bit later. And of course, once it's posted, it will be great if the Continuous Delivery Foundation could also help with promotion. Um, and yeah, but yeah, there will be LinkedIn tweets, etc. So it's just a heads up uh, for the advocacy and outreach seek and yeah, I'm still waiting for feedback uh, regarding the content. So, so far I got feedback only from Cara and from James's. So if somebody from the Jenkins community takes it, it would be great. But yeah, I think that it's important and beneficial for us. And uh, yeah, just to add, yesterday we uh, had a blog post by James Strachan on the Jenkins IO website talking about the Tecton client plugin for Jenkins. And apparently by using this plugin, you can uh, invoke not only Tecton pipelines, but also Jenkins X pipelines from Jenkins. So yeah, it's a quite long, but yeah, very informative blog post. So take a look and yeah, I think that it's important that we should push such interoperability stories forward where we can. And there will be a follow ups about Tecton uh, tasks for invoking Jenkins because uh, there is a request from a contributor for having official Tecton task for Jenkins. And I guess it could be also a subject for the contributor summit. At least I invited the participants in this Twitter thread. Okay. Anything else on that? Okay, terminology. Again, we discussed yesterday at the governance meeting, quick update for advocacy and outreach because we started doing it under the umbrella of the SIG because Alex Ola and Mark Jackson were heavily participating in the SIG at that time. So we announced terminology changes in August. Uh, we had two remaining action items, one to define subterms. So for example, for Jenkins main node, um, if you go to the Jenkins Web UI, it's still called master. And we had an action item to rename that. We dropped the ball on that due to various reasons. And we want to continue that. So I recovered the discussion uh, after a few kind things by Daniel Beck. And uh, yeah, it's going for the same for localizations. So hopefully in a few weeks, we'll have decisions on this term. We, I don't think we will be making a huge pass out of that. Most likely we will just approve that at the governance meeting. And what we actually need to, that, uh, to integrate changes because there is a staged pull request by Daniel, or there are other contributors, including, for example, one of Cloud Beast teams are contributing to the terminology cleanup across the plugin ecosystem. So we will lend these changes and then we can think about making it a featured project or whatever just to highlight it uh, as a part of additional program, maybe with some stickers, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, again, it's happening. Uh, no action items are required from the SIG specifically. Uh, but yeah, if somebody wants uh, to contribute, please join the program. Okay. Comments, questions? No. Okay, outreach programs, again, really quick. So Google Summer of Code, yeah, applications are over. We've got a lot of applications to different projects. We participate on the umbrella of the Continuous Foundation this year. Currently, there is ongoing review. We are syncing up with mentors. You may have seen a lot of emails from me, especially if you're an ORC admin. And yes, we expect to answer these emails, so please take a look. And um, yeah, uh, basically, the results will be announced on May 13th. So in three weeks, and we still have well, some things to do within these three weeks. Uh, but yeah, uh, everything looks good so far. So for Google Season of Dogs, uh, we applied at the Jinx project. We are not accepted. 
there is a retrospective doc I created, I communicated it to the documentation seek. So far, I didn't get feedback, uh, I guess. I owe you feedback there, Oleg. I've got, I've got to look at it. I was interested in the relatively few number of the, the smaller number of groups that were accepted and wanted to do some more looking at, at the experience level of those groups based on what was posted on the Google Season of Docs site. We are certainly not an experienced group with Google Season of Docs. Yeah, so personally, I don't make a big deal out of us not being accepted. So last year there were 50 organizations, this year there were 30. And this year you should consider JSOT as basically as a completely different uh, program because they changed the framework. Now it's organizations, pain, doing hiring, etc. So um, yeah, it's a different program um, except the name. And yeah, if you take um, a look at this project, I compared uh, it to the list of 2020. Uh, yes, maybe there are half of organizations uh, there but other half are new organizations. And I guess uh, the preference of GSOT organizers was to have new organizations. Uh, so yeah, it's one of the main reasons uh, why we were not accepted, I think. But uh, there are still some things we could improve in my opinion. And that's why I started uh, this retrospective doc. Right, and, and I will provide feedback there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And yeah, so we don't have uh, a season of docs this year. We have an opportunity to run our own program. So if there are mentors interested in that, we can do that. Uh, most likely in the September timeframe, because I don't think that we have capacity to run GSOC and JSOT in parallel. Well, not JSOT, but uh, our own program. I, I, you're right that we don't have capacity to run it in parallel. At least I don't. Yeah, me neither. So the next, Shikut Africa. So we have five participants. The program has just started, but actually it ends in about one week. So not that much time left. We have five contributing participants. So there is a blog post. There are several submitted pull requests. We are also helping students to communicate with particular plugin maintainers to facilitate the reviews. Uh, goes okay, yeah, yeah, we will also do retrospective, um, etc. but you yeah, know, no specific highlights. Uh, hopefully out of that, we will get a blog post and maybe some additional uh, promotion uh, by uh, participants. Because it will be great if they share their own experiences. I'm not sure whether we have enough content, for example, to have a Jenkins online meetup to talk about the Chicago Africa program results, so it's something for you to consider mark but um... well certainly i'd i've i'd considered writing a page about what it means to add help to jenkins based on what we've learned from she code africa because we've learned a number of places where i wasn't realized wasn't aware and so i think it's good good question i'll mm -hmm. i'll explore it with them okay so whatever content we need that that's easy so mark I mean, even if you're interested, I can save a slot for you um, at DevOps World. I think, I think this 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 is great stuff that you're doing, and it, it's um, it's good to give it some visibility to a wider audience. Oh, good helps. idea! Yeah, so I'll I, I may propose a uh, um, I, I fear that uh, I, I may propose a, a combined talk with me and me and maybe Kristen or me and Kristen and Angelique and one or two of the, so yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks for the suggestion, Alyssa. Let me think yeah. about that. I know the CFP is open for DevOps world. So I... yeah. uh, okay, so yeah. Anything else on outreach programs? Um, so there was an ongoing discussion about doing something with open source design. Um, right now, I'm just tracking uh, open source design, mailing list, etc. So we won't uh, miss the upcoming event, hopefully. But yeah, there is no specific update, and definitely with the current load, I'm not ready to facilitate that. So we'll, if there is a program, we will try to join. If not, no. Okay. So. 
onboarding online event organizers and also outreach program organizers, hopefully. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did a series of blog posts about that. We also had a um, uh, session uh, for contributors who responded to the call for participation. And at this session, we got five uh, participants. We also had some follow-up discussions for with those who were unable to join. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah. So we have a few follow-ups, uh, including organizing events, etc. Hopefully, we will be able to onboard the risk contributors to organizing events and this list. And if you consider uh, organizing an event, please also try to reach out to advocacy and outreach so that uh, we get additional hosts. Yeah, I was I was very pleased with that events orientation because out of that I got a volunteer to assist with co-hosting the webinar with the online meetup with Uli Hafner. So that already for me was very positive. Yeah, now we just need to make it happen. And yeah, also um, yeah, there is a slide deck which we created. Uh, well, we shot advance for this event to be honest, but yeah, that's how I create slides always. Uh, and yeah, we'll keep improving them. And maybe we'll. So my, I have an action item to convert uh, some of these slides to documentation, etc. Because uh, our Jinx SEO slash participate guidelines are quite uh, shallow when it comes to organizing meetups, etc. So if I recall correctly, Himandri uh, was a participant in this session. So yeah, anyway, we have a plan for that. So let's hope it works because you usually need more organizers. Okay. Then we discuss DevOps World CFP and uh, ask me anything meetup. So Alice uh, said that the best date would be May 4th. And uh, yeah, let's do that. I guess there will be a lot of Star Wars uh, related imaging uh, during this presentation. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, yeah, let's do the meetup. And I started uh, the poll in Doodle. So please vote for the time slots. And yeah, we will try to announce it shortly so that uh, we can also facilitate it through DevOps Vault and Jenkins and whatever other channels. One question about that, that what we do call for papers specifically for the community track or for community and CDF tracks? Because I'm not sure what is the plan of the Continuous Delivery Foundation for their track. Um, so, you know, right now we have, we just did the CFP um, for, for DevOps world through, um, we have a track there. So we're just pushing people to, to the DevOps um to submit their their uh, excuse me i can't i don't know why i can't speak but to submit their talk through the the cfp process from um cloud bees i just need to sync actually with um katie and also probably you Alyssa, on like i know i'm the chair but then i also need to just recruit a few other people to join the committee um so yeah, mm -hmm. whatever the uh, the CFP process ends up being through CloudBees, that's what we'll follow. Yeah, so basically it means that uh, you can have more or less uh, the same discussion for both. Mm -hmm. So Jackie, for, for the CFP, um, what happened was that we, I think the, um, so CloudBeast was only able to purchase a certain amount of seats for the portal submittal. Um, mm -hmm. so, um, so what's gonna happen with the CDF track is that you're, uh, you're going to the, be the chair. So that means you have access to the portal, to the tool. Okay. And then, um, but your graders won't. Okay. So we'll probably have to work through a spreadsheet. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. And then we can definitely help out with regards to inputting the data. I know it's a pain in the butt, but um, we can help you out with that too. Yeah, I mean, I figured I'd probably, um, probably what I'd probably try to do is just get like a community member from each of the incubating projects to mm -hmm. represent. Yeah. 
Um, and or if not, I'll ask the ambassadors and basically whoever has time to volunteer to to help grade them. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I'm okay with just exporting it and then ha okay. having to do the manual input. Okay. Um, and yeah, for the CDF track, uh, do we formally consider CDF track um, as a as a second community track, or do we consider it as an industry track, or what's uh, the positioning for promotion of this track? So the way I pretty much, I left it pretty wide. I left it pretty broad. So basically um, I took the description of CDCon and any talk that you would submit to CDCon is, um, you know, we're gonna review and, and, and integrate it as part of our track. But um, Alyssa, is there gonna be any, for example, any um, specific guidance that CloudBeast wants us to follow as well, or? No, it's it's no. your track, you okay. make it your own. So okay, I, can cool. speak, mm -hmm. I can speak about the community. So basically um, the way that we want that is to make this a broad community um, effort. So yes, we will focus on Jenkins as typically we get a lot of those submissions and then we're open to, to um, you know, accepting other open source projects as well, right? So the term is community, and then you know, and and what are some of the the um, the best practices in building a community and how to maintain a community? Those kind of talks. So okay. just community in general. Okay, that okay. makes sense. And I'm sure there's going to be lots of overlap. So Jackie probably will have some Jenkins uh, sessions in her on, in her CDF track, and I'll probably have some in mine. And then there will be practitioner um, track. Um, mm. So that ha probably has Jenkins in it as well. And see how people mm. using in the enterprise. So there may be some overlap, mm. but we'll, we'll all yeah. work it together and make sure that it's a balanced agenda. Okay, cool. yeah, for me, what it means is that uh, you yeah, should definitely promote both tracks. If the CFP, CFP process is the same and the application, uh, well, and uh, there is no clear border, let's promote everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then uh, uh, community and CDF tracks. Yeah, and I have probably like what we ended up doing last year as well was like, if it didn't fit in the community track, like it got pushed to our track as well so we're, we're flexible i'm okay mm -hmm. with that yeah yeah me too agree okay anything else on this meetup nope. no yeah. um yeah thanks a lot to Alice for agreeing uh, to present there and yeah we'll cut the agenda so Alyssa, sorry, this is related to uh, DevOps world, but I know on Tuesday on the 20th, they, um, Selena sent out a, hey, like hold this um, slot, but there was no like link. So I didn't show up to a meeting because I didn't know what where to show up. <laughs> oh, so, oh, that was this week, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. it was on Tuesday at, on, yeah, the 420 at two, two o'clock. Yep, no worries. I'll send you the recording. It was just session, um, a training on the portal. Yeah, I know. I wanted to be part of it, but in the invite, there wasn't a Zoom or a Google link or anything. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll send you the recording. Okay, cool. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. More income? No, it's it for me. Okay, thank you. So, Schwag package updates. It's quick, no updates. Um, I do did some background work, started uh, drafting uh, the form so that we could understand how many t shirts we want to send uh, to different places. And yeah, even this process seems to be really complicated uh, but yes you can do that but yeah the, if well, I, i've got an update that... too for you uh, oleg okay. on the swag um so one of the things that they proposed 
so they were like we are she's like we it, the estimate that we're getting is based on like regular mail we're not using ups or fedex um and i actually can attest to that i tried to go ship something yesterday to scotland and it was going to be about 40 dollars, and it wasn't a big package either um so she her suggestion is she's like what we could do is we can um if we know the quantities that, for example, we know that we need like 50 t-shirts in mm -hmm. Europe, she's like, we've got partners that we could do a drop shipment to Europe and then we need to provide them with the addresses and then they'll distribute it from Europe. So it'll reduce the cost. Um, mm -hmm. So that's one thing that we can do is just do like four or five drop shipments to the regions and then work with those partners there to um, deliver locally yeah. instead of having to do international, like several international uh, packages at once. Um, so mm -hmm. let me know if that works for you. Um, but again, we just need to get organized and be able to provide them like the list with addresses. So then, then that local distributor can create the packaging and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, so this approach would work if you're shipping, let's say, only socks, stickers, etc. because you can uh, yeah, invest some time some uh, money up front, uh, build a stock at all these local distributors mm -hmm. and then quickly distribute that. Yeah. But if you talk about uh, sending uh, different types and uh, sizes of t-shirts, uh, I can assure you it will be a logistics nightmare. Uh, um, yeah, because we need it. We would need to know ahead of time, for example, what sizes to send over to that local distributor ahead of time. So I just thought I'd share those options with you guys. Yeah, uh, thank you. And you're totally right. This option would work if we uh, were doing, let's say, a massive uh, Schwag distribution. Uh, but yeah, in our case, we do limited Schwag distribution. And uh, in this case, yeah, this thing will likely uh, complicate things even more. So okay. I think that uh, for this time, what sh we should do is that yeah, we create uh, requests on our own. Uh, we sent it uh, to whomever local distributor uh, as a, who would be a Jenkins contributor. Okay. And uh, basically, we are done with that. So okay. that we will be still using Pinnacle, but for one shipment. For one shipment. Right. Okay. Just just let me know. And like I said, um, we just need to know numbers. And if you do want to do t-shirts, we just need to do sizes. So just let us know. And then I can ask Pinnacle to just do one drop shipment to that person. And then they can figure out how mm -hmm. to distribute locally okay here is the previous plan okay so the ball is totally on my side i just need to provide this list for that i need to create a google form pink recipients and yeah here the headache starts but yeah i will do that okay any other topics for today Nope, I'm done. Okay. I have no topics as well. Okay. And then we could say that the meeting is done and thanks to everyone. So if you have some time, I would appreciate reviews for Jenkins X, uh, LinkedIn and blog post drafts because yeah, the, this is a big content. Uh, in some keys, yeah, it might be a sensitive content. We're sure that it's okay. And for the rest, yeah, let's just keep working. Okay. Thank Thanks you, all. Thank you for hosting. Thanks. Bye, Thank everybody. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.